And number two. Two. <laughs> I'm saying that. And I'm honored to say that. Because I wish so many times to have somebody here, just next to me, saying that thing. Needed it so much. Like, mm, whisper it. Always in my ear. No matter how loud the situation I'm into. No matter how right the person I'm talking to. No matter how much the world is coming down. Have this voice here. The reminder saying to me this truth. Always needed it. So I'm so grateful that I'm now the person that says, says it. And I want to explain, to explain here. Exclaim. Exclaim. You probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that all the things that I'm saying, I think that we are the product of our lives. So I'm not just this face that you're looking at and this house. I'm the product of all the people that I met, all the circumstances, my genes, my DNA, the weather, the many cries that happen in the world, the many amazing inventions that happen in the world, internet, this phone, you know, all this thing that you're watching right now, it's not just me. You can call that, which is the final product, however you want, my name or any other label you want, but it's, I'm representing all my life. I'm representing all my people that I met, all the situations, the cultures, the physical locations, the philosophies, all these things that have created me, that's what I'm representing with this exact thought in this exact moment. So now that we explain that, <laughs> let me tell you the one thing that I feel so good. And even if you have me on a stage talking to somebody, to like thousands of people, of course, I would feel a little bit awkward because I haven't done it in physical as an experience so there will be some new information it will be like hi <laughs> but i'm 100 percent sure that this shit here there's at least one person that is so grateful to hear what i'm about to say and it's me <laughs> and you're probably going to find yourself as well in that place soon so this secret is going to be that you will experience conflict Wow, surprise. <laughs> yes, you're going to experience conflict. And it's going to be conflict, as I mentioned in the previous part, with a colleague. A conflict within you, a conflict with your environment, a conflict between your mood and your program and your schedule, right? <laughs> you will experience conflict. You experience conflict between what your mom, your parents, your family background says and what your new family, your partner, your children, your friends say. There will be like two totally different opinions right there. And you will be in the middle. And you will experience trying to connect to both but really experiencing conflict within you. So for me, I really... I don't want to, I don't, and that's the interesting thing. I don't want to just be right. I want to experience life. I want to, to feel joy. I want to see what everything is about. So I am willing to give up on my ego many times or my insecurities or the truth that, you know, they're just who I am. I cannot leave that behind. No, that is me. That's my identity. No, just, just live it. We're not, we're not going there. We have overpassed that. Now we're going there. So to go there, personally, I'm so willing to just give up on, 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 on so many things that are stopping me. And one of these things is that you are not your family's opinion. You are not this person's opinion. You are not the weather. You are not this emotional reaction. You don't. You are not this crisis that is happening right now in the world. You are none of these. You are a unique product that is connected to all of this, right? You're not like, for me, from my perspective, you're not just like the self or yourself. It's just an imaginary creation that is somewhere in the world that is totally separated by a very, very clear barrier from all else. 
this thing, which is yourself, your absolute self, infinite self, the highest self, God, universe, however you want to call it, your true essence, your core, maybe your destination, this is not separate from who you are right now. It's connected all this. But who you are is a unique creation based on that as well, right? So you need to understand that when you are trying to communicate with two different or even multiple different opinions and different directions and different things that are trying to catch your attention. Like, look at me, 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 I'm right, I'm right. Here's the truth, here's the truth. Here's the right thing to do. Go away from that, go closer to that, you know? All these things that are talking about some truth, you should just consider is it my truth? And that's a huge question to me. Is it my truth? Is this talking to me? Is this my calling? Is this really where am I as a creation, as a product supposed to go or not? Because from personal experience, what I had many times is that like, let's be motivated, right? Let's get, let's, let's get crazy here. Let's get enthusiastic, overcome your limiting beliefs. We're going to make the world amazing, overcome our human boundaries and, you know, limitations. Let's do it. Let's pump it, you know? I'm so much this motivating person. But I also want to respect my human nature. And what I like to say is that we do have a titan within. You have your inner titan. Like, this, this is more than a superhuman, right? This is an amazing, amazing potential that you have, a capacity that is way beyond what you human, as a human you think you are, right? You have that. This is your potential. And you also have the human. You have that titan within, but you have that human as well. And I don't think that this is two separate things. And that's why you, there, there, there cannot be a conflict between them, between your titan and your human. I think that it is one, just how this higher self, this absolute self, this infinite, this God, this is not something separate than all the rest that you can realize. So this all belongs to the same unity that you can realize as self or as the world, life. It all belongs in one place. And it's all connected to each other and it all works together, right? So just the words, you can see what a reaction, what a different taste they have in your thoughts so it's true that sometimes you will hear something and like how can these two be connected like what's the connection between them right and in those moments realize that be aware first of all that you are that you are the product, you are the creation, and you have a unique form. And you're not separate than this and that. You're connected. But what is your part? The potential treasure that you can experience as, from that perspective, what is your part? Because there will be many opinions. You will cross a lot of objects in your way towards a destination, and you will always wonder are those things mine right you will wonder i just I, I saw this shiny amazing 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 thing that i'm not sure what it is but it looks like a treasure it looks so cool it's it's shiny and it's and people are admiring it so it has to be mine right because it wasn't my way so it should belong to me but then you realize that it doesn't really fit you it doesn't really fit who you feel you are destined to be something within you says that this this object is way better off being somewhere else and it's not that where it is it kind of doesn't belong to you or you're not connected to that but this direct ownership over all the ingredients that you're going to meet in your life is not necessary you don't have to feel that this human has to personally own the whole world. Everything is behind. No. You don't have to own this opinion. You don't have to own these expectations. You don't have to own everything as one human. Because you were not supposed to be just one human. And disconnect 
these from these. But instead, why don't you choose to find the connection between them? The connection between the motivation and pump it and I have to be there and do this and mm, the titan, you know? Or respecting and loving and treating with beautiful kindness and understand the sweet human nature that you're representing and you're experiencing within. It doesn't have to be that these are two separate meanings, two separate beings or creations. So how about choosing differently? What about if you chose to find a balance between them and it wasn't just two or, or, or many different things, but you are connected to all of them. And as a person, as a human, you can experience them best if you go where you belong, if you follow your route, if you follow your path. And maybe your path is something, and probably if you're following the right path, which is the one that was destined for you, you will see that no one has ever really walked this specific path. That you will find many similarities. Other people as well have probably crossed trees, right? But not the trees that you are meeting. Not from that perspective. Not walking that way. Not seeing these stones. Not observing these majestic wonders within the forest that you are passing in the way. So if you are lucky and you find yourself walking your path, then you will realize that many of the ingredients and the elements that you will find along will be very impressive or very mm, not attractive at all. And some of them, you are destined to take them in your path and make them a part of you for a while and have this feeling of, okay, I'm engaged with that. This should come with me in that direction where I go but sometimes you need to let go and choose balance instead of some fanatic belief of either these or that or expectations or to choose the balance this inner balance of accepting that I'm me and I am me so that I can become we I am me so that I can experience the whole world from a perspective of Okay, I am in my place, I am where I belong, and now the whole world can accept me and is, has, has been given permission to connect with me because I do me and I go in my place where there is no conflict really, there is only harmony because everything is clear there, everything is definite and you know why you're there and who you are and who you're supposed to be, and where you stand when you have all these this callings and these attention catchers and, and, and loud noises or darker days or more sun days and the titan and the human. You know where you're standing in your core. And that's where you are experiencing the whole world from. Again, this is not something that is separate from the sky this person, the other person, the belief, the crisis that we are experiencing, or anything, the weather, anything, the whole system is connected. You only choose that, that path, that beautiful, beautiful journey, where you know it's 100% yours because it's unique, because no one else knows exactly how it is. Well, you can... Experience beauty, that's why you do it. To experience beauty and to share beauty, collectively share and enjoy beauty. So, there will be those moments. And I know it because I had so many of these gold moments like, oh my God, I need nothing else. The whole world just makes sense. It makes sense. I don't need anything else. I can experience joy. I can understand everything. I can love everything. I can see everything. I feel the abundance, the beautiful, colorful flavor. My favorite one of everything. I'm here. I reached it. So many times. It's amazing. I reached it. But then I always got back into wondering. Like, here's this conflict again. Mm, where's my core? 
So this is a simple reminder for all these moments that they're going to come again and again. Even if you see this video 10 times a day, <laughs> you'll again have these moments. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful because within these moments, you realize more accurately what is your unique path. So I recommend instead of getting drowned into this conflict and try to, to get fanatic about what is right, what is wrong, and get tensed, get tense about the truth and about where am I supposed to, what am I supposed to follow and I should be right and everything. I recommend why not choosing to be grateful instead. Grateful for this miracle because I swear it's the wonder lad. And I have proofs <laughs> about the beauty that you can now experience. So how about choosing that? The gratitude over this human experience of seeing the world through these gorgeous eyes that can see miracles that you're as blessed as that, as privileged as that, that you only can experience in this majestic way that you do. So how about being grateful about that? And in all these moments of conflict, Jesus said to, where's my core? Everything, everything has its truth. Everything has its direction. Everything has its purpose. And everything is connected. How can I see this greater connection from the point where I stand now while I'm going there? And first of all, what is your direction? What is your destination? If your destination is somewhat like mine, which is to experience the beauty as an absolute experience and share the joy of it, the joy of the wonderland with all these majestic creatures, then, then choose to place yourself where you belong best, which is your world, your path, your unique purpose. And then you will know when you go back to your core, back to who you were designed to be, to experience all this majesty as beautifully as that, then you will know within all this great conflict, when you have the Titan, when you have the human as well, you know that in every single moment, in the only moment that exists, which is now, that you can experience this great beauty and realize, yes, realize what? Everything. Why this? Why that? Why everything? And what's the beauty in everything? Because balance and your absolute truth, it's a choice. And it's a choice that I think that you can make only if you simply look at two things. Where you are, who you are, realize the connection, realize the purpose of everything, see silently see and allow the understanding over everything and choose choose beauty choose beauty instead because beauty is everywhere to be found everywhere and it's a choice it's a choice if you want to embrace it so great reminder great 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 reminder i hope that it got you in a moment that you needed it and personally, I tell you, I will definitely come back to remind myself many times where I'll be like, damn, conflict again. <laughs> well, guess what? You can choose. You can choose the beauty out of it. <laughs>